So the critical thinking is one of the main areas that we'll be focusing on in the next session. After that, we'll also be thinking about academic writing. So the final endpoint, and looking at the characteristics of good academic writing, we'll be giving you some examples of writing that students have engaged in. Where does it work well? Where does it meet our expectations? Where doesn't it and why not? And there'll be opportunities within that to practice some of those and to get some immediate feedback on that. Again, I can't emphasise enough how important it is to practice. And to get feedback in a setting such as ASK, where you're not going to be given a mark, but you're just going to have individual feedback that assists you to develop it, is an opportunity that you shouldn't miss. I've mentioned that next that you'll have a study group seminar as well in the, in, before ASK finishes late at the end of the month. I also wanted to raise the issue of your individual learning portfolio. We talked to you more about this in the final stage of the ASK module, but we'd like you to start thinking about that now. What this is, is a portfolio of information that you have gathered that is shaped by your interests. It's shaped by why you are doing the MBA. It's shaped by what it is that you want to gain from the MBA by the goals that you may have. And really, we're asking you to think about a way in which you organise the materials and the skills that you're developing. You will be downloading information, um, PDF files, articles, podcasts. How are you going to organise that? It's worth thinking about that now. As you build up a portfolio over this module and the ones that follow, of the information that you're going to want to refer back to, you might start thinking now about your dissertation that will come up at the end of the programme. And when it does, if you've been gathering information and articles that you came across in other searches, you've got them all there at your fingertips. It might be shaped by the goals of doing the MBA and the nature of the organisation in which you work and the industry in which you work and particular interests around that. So as you're working through this module and the later ones, look at the material that you're getting, look at the material you're downloading, and think very carefully about how and what you want to keep and how you're going to organise that material. The other thing to talk about is the assessment for this module. It is not, uh, it is a formative assessment. It doesn't lead to a mark at the end of the module, but it is a module that in order to pass the module, you have to submit the assessment. For this module, what you have to assist to, for this module, what you have to submit in order to be deemed to have passed the module is a individual learning contract. Again, that will be explained in more detail, but it is about your commitment and how you prepare and plan to organise yourself during your studies. And that will be the form, the basis for a meeting with your mentor at the end of the, of the month. You will have the opportunity to, to have a 30 minute meeting that might be by Skype or by phone. You can arrange that in terms of what suits you with your mentor. But it will be a one-to-one -one session where you can talk about what you've learnt, where you need to go from here, what your anxieties are, and how you want to move forward, and how you want to move forward with your mentor. We're now going to think a little bit more about critical analysis, critical thinking, and what it is. We talk about critical analysis very often. We often say we might feed back in an assignment, but there wasn't sufficient critical analys analysis. But what actually is it that we mean by critical analysis? And how do you do it? Those things are often much less well articulated. And that's what we're going to turn to next. <laughs>